Chondrus crispus. Chondrus crispus, commonly called Irish moss or carrageen moss, Irish carin, little rock is a species of red algae which grows abundantly along the rocky parts of the Atlantic coast of Europe and North America. In its fresh condition this protist is soft and cartilaginous, varying in color from a greenish yellow, through red, to a dark purple or purplish brown. The principal constituent is a mucilaginous body, made of the polysaccharide carrageenan, which constitutes 55% of its dry weight. The organism also consists of nearly 10% dry weight protein and about 15% dry weight mineral matter, and is rich in iodine and sulfur. When softened in water it has a sea-like odor and because of the abundant cell wall polysaccharides it will form a jelly when boiled, containing from 20 to 100 times its weight of water. Chondrus crispus is a relatively small sea alga, reaching up to a little more than 20 centimeters in length. It grows from a discoid holdfast and branches four or five times in a dichotomous, fan-like manner. The morphology is highly variable, especially the broadness of the thalli. The branches are 2 to 15 mm broad and firm in texture, and the color ranges from light to dark green, dark red, purple, brown, yellowish, and white. The game to fights, see below, often show a blue iridescence at the tip of the fronds and fertile sporophytes show a spotty pattern. Masticarpus stellatus, Stackhouse, Geary is a similar species which can be readily distinguished by its strongly channeled and often somewhat twisted thalli. The cystocarpic plants of Masticarpus show reproductive papillae quite distinctively different from chondrus. When washed and sun-dried for preservation, it has a yellowish, translucent, horn-like aspect and consistency. Chondrus crispus is common all around the shores of Ireland and can also be found along the coast of Europe including Iceland the Faroe Islands' western Baltic Sea to southern Spain. It is found on the Atlantic coasts of Canada and recorded from California in the United States to Japan. However, any distribution outside the northern Atlantic needs to be verified. There are also other species of the same genus in the Pacific Ocean, for example, C. Ocalatus Holmes, C. Nipponicus yendo, C. Yenoyamata et Mikami, C. Pinulatus, Harvey, Okamura and C. Armatus, Harvey, Yamata et Mikami. Chondrus crispus is found growing on rock from the middle intertidal zone into the subtidal zone, all the way to the ocean floor. So it is very hard for sunlight to reach it. C. crispus is susceptible to infection from the Umycete pythium porphyry. C. crispus is an industrial source of carrageenan, which is commonly used as a thickener and stabilizer in milk products such as ice cream and processed foods, including lunch meat. In Europe, it is indicated as E407 or E407b. It may also be used as a thickener in calico printing and paper marbling, and for fining beer or wine. Irish moss is frequently used with Masticarpus stellatus, Gigartina mamillosa, Chondracanthus acicularis, G. acicularis, and other seaweeds, which are all commonly found growing together. Carrageen and agar-agar are also used in Asia for gelatin-like desserts, such as almond jelly. Presently, the major source of carrageenan is tropical seaweeds of the genera Capophycus and Eucuma. In Ireland and parts of Scotland, where it is also known as an Kergian in Scottish Gaelic, it is boiled in milk and strained, before sugar and other flavorings such as vanilla, cinnamon, brandy, or whiskey are added. The end product is a kind of jelly similar to panna cotta, tapioca, or bomanche. Similarly, in Jamaica and Trinidad and Tobago, Gracilaria spp. are boiled with cinnamon and milk to make a thick drink called Irish moss that is believed to be an aphrodisiac. In Venezuela it has been used for generations as a home remedy for sore throat and chest congestion, boiled in milk and served with honey before bed. Irish moss is commonly used as a clarifying agent or finings in the process of brewing, beer, particularly in home brewing. A small amount is added to the kettle or copper, where it is boiled with the wort, attracting proteins and other solids, which are then removed from the mixture after cooling along with the copper finings. Irish moss undergoes an alternation of generation life cycle common in many species of algae, see figure below. The two distinct stages are the sexual haploid gametophyte stage and the asexual diploid sporophyte stage. In addition, a third stage, the carpus porophyte, is formed on the female gametophyte after fertilization. The male and female gametophytes produce gametes which fuse to form a diploid carpus porophyte, which forms carpospores, which develops into the sporophyte. The sporophyte then undergoes meiosis to produce haploid tetraspores, which can be male or female, that develop into gametophytes. The three stages, male, female, and sporophyte, 
are difficult to distinguish when they are not fertile, however, the game to fights often show a blue iridescence. C. crispus, compared to most other seaweeds, is well investigated scientifically. It has been used as a model species to study photosynthesis, carrageen and biosynthesis, and stress responses. The nuclear genome was sequenced in 2013. The genome size is 105 MBP and is coding for 9,606 genes. It is characterized by relatively few genes with very few entrants. The genes are clustered together, with normally short distances between genesis and then large distances between groups of genes. Thanks for watching. Don't forget like the video and don't forget to subscribe.